Hey guys, Chief here from Chief Live Gaming. Today showing you uh, an update of the Rhino we've been kind of covering in, well, one video so far, but um, we've added some effects to the Rhino basically just to make it look like it's seen some shit. You know, it's been around for a while, been in a couple battles, and uh, if you want to do something like this to your Rhino um, or other vehicle, maybe you can pick up a few tips. So I'm just going to do a quick uh, rotate of it here and I'm gonna do my best to uh, keep everything in focus and I'm manually focusing and talking so it's a little bit uh, a little bit crazy but I'm gonna do my best here for you guys so if you notice the bullet holes that we worked on a little earlier instead since I kind of uh, wanted it to look worn and weathered you're using rust instead of exposed metal to kind of show those edges and bring your attention to those bullet holes. Uh, a lot of wear on the back where that hatch would open. Not much to see on the back end of it here, so we'll just kind of scoot around. Um, the last thing pretty much I want to work on is the, uh, the Nurgle stuff. So like all of the Nurgle overgrowth that I used green stuff on is going to be highlighted and touched up just a little bit more. I still am not quite sure how I want to do that. So I've been stalling and now it kind of uh, has come to that and just some more finishing touches. So I'll just kind of, let's see here, how am I going to do this? Show you guys the, the front a little bit here. And then I'll just lay it like this to show you the top. Just uh, kind of worn and battled. Let's try to tilt it maybe like so. Give you a little better view of it here. Come on, focus. So um, I can go through the effects really fast with you guys. Um, just to give you an idea, a lot of people on on YouTube, when you're talking about doing weathering effects, a lot of people like to use um, powders. They like to use powders or um, pigments. And me personally, I not only don't have any, I'm far too lazy for that. And uh, it's way, way too messy. I just am not interested in getting into that unless I, you know, really want something to look spectacular. But for me, something like what I have here is going to do the job just fine. Looks great. Um, I mean, we've got some basic um, mud and stuff on the, on the bottom. It does the job, right? So to do that, basically you can pick out the colors I used. Um, like for the mud, we'll start there, I guess, on the tracks might be a little hard to see with just the way the lighting is set up but there's a just two shades of brown like a dark brown and then like almost a tan and what you do is you find either um, an old brush or uh, there's brushes like this where the ends are just you know it's kind of like a dome brush or a stipple brush I think they're called but you basically um, get a brush where the end is just trashed if you don't want to use something like this or don't have it so let's see Where's my other brush here? Something where you don't care about the ends. So when you push, you know, it, it spays out like that. I don't know the word stipple, I believe is the term. So you basically just like load it up like you're going to dry brush with it. And then just kind of uh, go in like this and jab on along where you want the effect to be. Kind of like that on the Rhino. And you get all that, those, you can very clearly see that on the top there. Probably going to have to touch that with the black. But, um, yeah, really easy, really easy to just kind of quickly add some really good effects. Like the blood there is, was all done using that kind of an effect. Like the weathering the whole rhino took me maybe 20 minutes. And then, you know, that was going back and touching up all the rust, which took a majority of that time. So, not bad. And, you know, if you're not looking for something that's 
absolutely perfect. It's very fast, very easy way to do that. And uh, just don't overdo the effect. Start slow. I This is like the third one, third Rhino I've done that way. And the first couple I did it way too much and it's it just doesn't look good. It's hard to come back from something like that um, to get it to look decent. So this one too even... I feel like in some spots I kind of went a little, got a little out of control, but that's okay. You know, especially if you guys are doing Nurgle like this also, it's it's fine because Nurgle is just trashed anyway. Everything's kind of just overgrown. I might even put some, some moss on here or something, like actual, uh, like stuff I would use for basing. But, um, yeah. So I don't know really what else I want to say. Um, the black, don't forget to use black to kind of make it look um, battle damaged and scuffed up from like, you know, explosions and just stuff scraping it over time. If you don't want to make it so rusty like this, you can do the same effect. Dry brush like up with a silver color. You'll get exposed metal looking surfaces like on the corners here all the edges and just anywhere if, if you're looking at the rhino try to imagine where there would be high wear areas so areas that are uh, see a lot of abuse and hit it with like a dry brush of of a metallic of whatever uh, whatever flavor you like and it'll look like it's worn the the paint off and given some exposed metal it looks really nice and it's super super easy so yeah you don't need pigments you don't need uh, powders or anything like that if you guys don't want to you can get it to look decent and uh, yeah that's about all I have to say let me know if you guys would like to know anything else in particular about this rhino about the progress we're gonna work on the uh, the Nurgle overgrowth uh, painting and the, the guy on top and a few other minor details I have yet to do but pretty much almost done almost done let me know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys picked up maybe a couple tips. If you did, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share this channel with some of your friends. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, hopefully see you around in my other videos. All right, guys. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye now.